Republic of Estonia is one of three Baltic states situated along the Baltic Sea, south of Scandinavia and west of Russia. It is the setting of the novel Red War, written by Kyle Mills as an installment in the Mitch Rapp series created by the late Vince Flynn. In real life, Russia has entered and remained in Moldova since 1992, Georgia since 2008, and Ukraine since 2014. In that same year, Moscow has annexed part of Ukraine, the Crimean Peninsula, as now part of the Russian Federation. They even built a bridge connecting the peninsula to mainland Russia. I guess making it official, kind of like, uh, if you like it, put a ring on it. Uh, the Russian president has declared that any military action undertaken to take back Crimea will be met with war. So this is where we are now, today. Russia can take pieces of land from other countries, claim it as part of the Russian Federation, promise a nuclear war if any of us try to do anything about it. The rest of the world gets to look on, and just simply watch it happen. So the premise of Red War is exploring what independent uh, variables, uh, independent variables as opposed to dependent variables, are necessary to provide the ideal environment for a realistic Russian invasion and annexation of the Baltics. Some elements of the hypothetical fiction were altered, such as the identity of the Russian president. However, other elements were included, such as the militaristic capabilities and civic infrastructures of the Baltic states. In this video series, I intend on exploring and presenting the Baltic states from a global security perspective. I like travel, food, and entertainment, and there is an epistemological nexus where all of these interests converge. Let's say you want to visit Estonia and you want to try out the local nightlife, try out the traditional cuisine, what are the chances that one day, one morning, you wake up and find something like this outside your hotel? In the book, one of the characters said something along these lines. Uh, we can take the Baltics because nobody can do anything about it. Americans are too concerned with domestic issues and their politicians, constituents, like those of us who vote and uh, write them letters and stuff, aren't going to want to go to war over three countries they've never even heard of. And this is true. Most Americans do not know where Ukraine is or the Baltics. Most do not think that Georgia is anything other than a U.S. state in the South, by the way. Our corporately owned mass media selectively chooses or choose which stories to push and which to suppress and our alternative news and information services are getting censored even today and stamped out by social media platforms, big tech giants and the like. These gatekeeping practices are resulting in national ignorance. And just like Red War suggests, an ignorant American population would be unable to do and disinterested in doing anything about foreign nations they scarcely know anything about. And those of us who are aware are all too often dismissed as not caring about the most relevant issues as determined by our American media. This channel is designed for the few who want to learn and know more about the world from a relevant global security perspective. I am an American military university graduate who passed with distinction. I will do my best to apply my research methodologies and analytical skills, which I acquired. I will do my best to be transparent with all my research designs, and I will give you all my sources in the description below.